Okay, so when we're looking at the slope of a table, we're always looking at the change in y over the change in x. So if I look here, um, I can see that I'm going from 2 to 3 to 4, so that's an increase of 1. And then my change in x, I'm going from 8 to uh, 12 to 16, so that's an increase of 4. So my slope would be 1 over 4. Okay, here change in y over change in x. Going up by 5, going up by 1, 5 over 1, which equals whole number 5 as our slope. <clears throat> when I look at this, I know that um, I'm going down, and so this would be a negative slope. All lines going down um, will be negative, and so we always look, read a graph from left to right the way we read a book. Negative slope. In this table, change in y over change in x, so increase of 12, increase of 2, and so 12 over 2 is going to give me 6. Okay, anytime you see a horizontal line, you can already know that it's going to be a zero slope because slope is the steepness of a line. And if you're walking on a flat surface, there's no steepness to it. So our slope is zero. Okay, in a graph, we always start from our first point and go to our next. We know this is gonna be positive because it's going up. So up one and over two, one over two. Anytime we see a vertical line, um, that is going to be an undefined slope. Okay, so this is going to be a positive slope because it's going up, and so I'm going to do my rise over run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, seven over five. <clears throat> All right, back with the table. Change in y over change in x. My y's are increasing by two, and my x's are increasing by one. Two over one is two. And for this one, this is going to be a positive slope because I'm going up. So I'm going to do rise over run. One, two, three, four, and then over. One, two, three, four, five. So four over five. And it didn't even ask that. It just asked if it was positive or negative. But um, either way, that works. It's positive slope, and the slope is four over five.